Hi everyone, I'm Donna Stellhorn, your practical astrologer, here to talk to you about Chinese astrology and where you are in the 12 year cycle. So I have a ton of information on these slides and so I'm not going to be able to go over all the information with every slide. So I just want to point out what's on here is uh, you can see the five elements on the left hand side and the dates. So you can find out your element as well as your sign. And then uh, under the where it says, say, yin wood ox or yin fire ox, uh, there'll be two Western planets or sometimes one. So we're in a metal ox year and that's related to Venus. Now, Venus is a little bit different in the focus in Chinese astrology. It's a little bit more about uh, organizing resources and knowing what's available to you. It's certainly about gaining money, a little less about relationships. So it's more financial. And so the entire world is doing Venus. And so that is considered the larger. And so for the yin wood ox, which would be people born between February 20th, 1985 and February 8th, 1986, uh, that is that you are doing Venus Jupiter, but you're the Jupiter part. So therefore you're the smaller. And so that means that the whole world is saying to you, I want, I want, I want. And your Jupiter energy is saying, okay, okay, I could do that. So whatever it was you were working on, now you have to switch and do what the world keeps asking. So that's why I say others want you to change. Uh, for the fire ox, um, this you're doing the Venus Mars combination. So Venus is the world, you are Mars. And so that is, uh, you want to take action, action, action. And so the world says to you, uh, okay, I want this and this and this. And so you say, okay, I can do that. I can do that. So that is that others are supporting you. Now, if we go to the yin earth ox, uh, that is that you are, are the Saturn part of this combination. And so um, everyone around you, the entire world is saying, I want, I want, I want. And you're saying, okay, all right, I'm getting to it. I, I'm going to try my best. And so that is others ask much of you. Uh, for those of you who are uh, metal ox, you are actually in harmony with this year. So you're just doing a lot of Venus. And so the positive is, of course, that you can gain a lot materially and financially, but you also can spend all of your time just organizing resources. So you have to kind of watch out for that. And then finally, the yin water ox would be uh, the combination of Venus and Mercury. And so that is the Venus, the world says, I want, I want, I want. And Mercury says, great, you know, tell me about that. You know, well, maybe I'll choose this. Maybe I'll go do that. So Mercury, you guys have a lot of options. Now, but the main part that I wanted to talk to you guys about for each sign was that if we looked at the 12 year cycle as though it was a year on the farm, then there are three signs doing each season. And they do things in the season in slightly different ways. And so uh, ox natives, you guys are in your first year of seed planting. And so that means that you have been dropped on a farm. Um, there's, there's nothing growing. You have a bag of seeds. And so you need to start planting things. And this means one, it's a great deal of work, but the, the good news is, you know exactly how to do this. You've done this in the past. This is, this is not something that is so outrageous. So it just means go plant new fields but you're still gonna be doing similar things than you've done in the past. So it's a really busy time um, for you this year. We'll be extremely busy. Um, there's also, you know, besides planting seeds, new animals being born, that means that you need to look at, at what you're giving birth to. That, that could be, you know, maybe you're doing a podcast or uh, writing a book or something like that. What, what are you creating? And then you're starting the seeds indoors, and that is very much uh, about guarding and protecting what it is that you're doing, really watching it so that you can see how it's going. Now, if we 
so something that I should say is because when we look at this as a year on the farm, the signs are going to be in a different order than you're used to. So the next would be rat and rat is in the second year of seed planting. And so you guys can read all of that stuff about what elements you are and, you know, your connection to the world. But let's focus on that part because you're doing that same energy as ox, but you're doing it as a semi-sextile. That's that Western aspect, you know, because these two signs are 30 degrees apart. And so the you spent the last year planting seeds, making sure that all the seeds were in the ground and all that. And now you're irritated because nothing's growing yet. You're hungry. You're standing over the seeds. And so, but there's still enormous amount of work to do. You know, you, you still have to be caring for the animals. You still have to be checking the irrigation. You still have to be doing all of these things. So, so you're feeling a little bit more stressed. Now that takes us to pig or boar, and you guys are in the last year of seed planting. And so now you guys are doing the sextile. So this is much calmer. This is, this is now you're starting to see some of the little seedlings. And even though you can't eat these things yet, so in other words, the profits aren't really that big yet, you are starting to see that it is going to be viable. And so you're, you're, feeling that kind of euphoria of, look, I have created something, something that didn't exist before, and now things are starting to happen. So, so for pig and boar, you guys have a much easier year coming up. Now, when we get to dog natives, you guys are going to be in the first year of seed tending. That means now your responsibilities shift uh, that means doing less new things and more looking at the things you've already started and saying, is this viable? Uh, do I need to do some weeding? Do, do I need to, uh, you know, declutter or take away things that are interrupting my life? And so you guys are doing the square and that means high activity because as you shift into this new season, even though summer is a little bit more casual, you're not quite at that casual place yet. So you're still looking at doing quite a bit to make sure that the really tender little shoots aren't dying. You So that is, you know, maybe you've started a new job, but you're not quite, you know, you, you've gotten past perhaps that 60 day, uh, are you okay? Are you going to stay? But but you haven't had your first annual review. So you're still working on these types of things. When we look next, we look at rooster. Now rooster, you're in the second year of seed tending. So you're in midsummer, and now things are getting much, much easier. You're doing the trine energy. And so uh, what it is, is you, you know what you need to do. You can walk through the fields and maybe even get some of the early lettuces. And that means you can eat a little bit. Uh, so you might be gaining some profits in some certain areas. Your relationships are easier because we're at this time where you can balance out work and play. And then we go to monkey. Now, monkey, you guys are in the last year of seed tending. And this is that height of summer uh, or, or actually, I should say the tail end of summer, not the height. And so there's this energy of, you know, all of this abundance, but you can't actually pick it yet. You know, you, you can't take the oranges off the tree because they'll be sour. And so you are doing the in conjunct. So you are, are seeing all of these possibilities and you can't just run out and do whatever you want. And so there is much more time now spent in preparing for the harvest, how to capitalize on what it is that you are doing. And for some people, this might be that they are moving from a college situation now into the workforce, or perhaps you're moving into, when you get to the harvest period, uh, getting that uh, promotion, but this is all that prep for that. Now, when we get to uh, sheep or goat or ram, 
uh, it's really interesting because what we see is this is the opposition sign. So this is considered the weakest sign, but you guys are also entering your first year of harvest. So the amount of work there is, is huge. If you've gotten a new position, of course, you are in your big learning curve. And so that's really challenging. But on the other hand, you uh, have uh, all of the things that you were taking care of before. And so, plus with the opposition, the entire world is looking at Ox and not paying any attention to you. And so the plus though is of all of the signs, there's only one other sign that I would really consider that thrives in being ignored. Um, but sheep, goat, and ram, you know, you, that combination, you guys can tolerate it. You, you don't mind working behind the scenes a little bit more, um, having the limelight off of you while you get your ducks in a row. So you guys tolerate the opposition better than most signs do, but you still need to be aware that when you are needing help, with bringing in the crops, um, you know, selling off the extras, um, making sure that everything's running well, you really need to be focused on, um, you know, how how I can make some noise, how I can say to people I need some help, because that's your challenge. Now, horse natives, you guys are in the second year of harvest. This is like a full bore. You have so many opportunities and they are big opportunities. You cannot lay about. This is why you're doing the inconjunct energy. You're constantly having to shift gears and do something else. So because they, you don't want to miss any, any of these opportunities. It's just too much. This is also the time where as you're collecting the things, you're also thinking, starting to think about what's going to happen when winter comes. And so you might be very busy separating out, okay, this is a project that I'm going to work on now. This is a project that I'm going to work on next month. This is a project I'm going to work on next year. And so you're starting to do that scheduling and things like that. Now, when we get to a snake, you guys are in the last year of harvest and you are doing the trine energy. And this is where you are having the parties and things like that. This is where you can celebrate. You've, you've been to the farmer's market and you've sold off the excess. You have money in your pocket. You are drying some seeds for winter. You're in the kitchen, you're putting up things. So, but what's really happening here is you now have all of this experience and you can tell people, this is what I do. And now they're knocking on your door with job opportunities, with, um, you know, uh, possibilities of, you know, collaborations and things like that. People of consequence are coming to you. It's all pretty easy because it's the trying. And then we go into our winter period and that I call seed saving. And so dragon natives, you're going to be in your first year of seed saving. And this is a square energy because there's still presumably a little bit on the ground. And so that is that, you know, you might have established your position at work, but there could be some extra things that you're doing to garner that respect. Or now you're starting to think about perhaps future plans. And so starting to lay a little tiny bit of groundwork for the future that could be going back to school or doing some sort of online education programs or things like that. But you're still kind of in that same place uh, with the harvest people, we're still working on those things. And that's why it's square. And then we get to our rabbit natives. And so you guys, you're doing that winter now. Now it's the dead of winter. It's really cold. You can't go outside. And so what you're doing is you're looking at saying, what do I have in my life? You know, how can I use what I actually have and how can I be creative with it? So this might be a situation where you are, you have had your job for a while. You're not ready quite to move on yet. Maybe you are in school or doing something on the side, but it's a long way before that's going to take over. And so you're looking for how you can make your current situation more interesting, how you can also stretch what you have, because 
you know, in theory, you don't know how long the winter is going to be. And so while you are working less, there's still quite a bit to do. And uh, budgeting becomes very important using what you have, but also starting to plan what you're going to do in the future. You know, at this point, sometimes some people are starting to get a little antsy, um, but you're doing the sextile. And so there's lots of promises of opportunities and things like that. And then we get to tiger. And so tiger natives, this is probably the least pleasant point of the cycle for tiger natives in general, because you guys are naturally impatient. And this is where it's too cold to plant outside. Um, you know, if you did plant anything, it would just die. And that means that you have a business idea or you have a desire to get a new job, but you're not making any headway. You're doing the semi-sextile. And so everything is blocking you because it's saying, just wait, it's not quite time yet. So this is your time to really declutter, to really look at what it is that you have in your life and say, is this valuable? Do, you know, should I be doing this at all? Um, then also, you know, what kind of repair or maintenance? So that would be in, in our world, like, let's say you're thinking about getting a new job in a year or so, but your Excel skills aren't so great. Well, this is the time to do an accelerated program to get that up to speed or to work on building your social media following if you're going to do something in content creation or something like that. So, but it's all semi sextile, so you're not feeling like you want to do it. You're pacing around in your house and just like, oh, let me out of here. And so, but the if you can mentally say, you know what, it's the dead of winter and there's no reason to go out and plant seeds, they're just going to die. So I need to wait.